Hello and welcome everybody. This is Roland Hartman from Graphic in Motion and in this tutorial I will show you how you can customize my Samba of Love number two template. So before we get started with the customization inside After Effects, I just want to show you the structure of this template. So when you download the folder and you open it up, then you will see that you have these files here. And of course there is the main After Effects project file. And there's also an important links folder. And inside this links folder, you will find two links to the fonts that I used for the preview. And you will also find the music that I used for the preview video. So I recommend that if you do not have these two fonts installed on your system, then just download them and install them on your system. And then you open up the Summer of Love template. And then you should see something like this. You see that we have only one composition open and this is called the render composition and this is the composition which yeah contains more or less all the scenes and i will show you how to customize this now so let's get started with the customization first of all i want to show you how you can exchange these main titles we have basically three scenes that contain just titles and this is scene number one scene number two so that you have the possibility to introduce your video and yeah, enter some titles, some names or whatever, some dates. And scene number 35, so our last scene, here you can yeah, put in an, an end title. So these three scenes contain only titles and of course these frames. And you can of course edit and customize both of them. So let's open up scene number one by just double clicking on our layer here. You can of course also find all the scenes inside the scenes folder. So let's open up scene number one and you see inside scene number one we have our footage. That's just the background footage and we have our title composition and we have of course our 3D camera. To edit the title you see that our title scene number one says double click to open and edit title. So let's just double click on this layer and now we are inside this composition and you see that we have two titles, two text layers and we have one frame layer. What you can do here now, I will just toggle the transparency grid for now so that I can see my frame a little bit better. You can of course now double click uh, the text layers and enter your main title, your title and you can of course also change the subtitle, you can of course also add some titles, change the font, change the size, whatever you want. And additionally, you can also exchange this frame. So maybe you want to use a different layout for this title. For example, if we take a look at scene number two, here we have our square frame for a title. So let's say you want to use the same frame inside scene number one. So let's go back to our title scene number one and let's take a look at the title frame composition here. And if I just uh, turn this off, you see this is the frame layer. And if I go to my project window, you can see that here we have title and footage frames folder here. If I open this up, then you can see we have four different title frame compositions here. And you can now, of course, exchange these. So let's select this title frame number one and let's drag in title frame number two, hold down alt and release the mouse. And you see immediately, okay, now we have uh, this square frame in here. You can of course now scale it, scale it up. You can of course also use the collapse transformation. Then you see that it gets clear again because it is vector based. So you can scale this up as far as you want. You could of course also do some slight changes by scaling the individual axes but yeah after a certain stretch it looks a little bit strange as you see so let's just put this back to standard and let's just put, put in another one so let's try frame number three you see frame number three is this a little bit wider one then we have frame number four which is a smaller one more uh, vertical one and we have frame number one, which is this one. Okay, so you see you can exchange these frames. You can do this, of course, also in scene number two. And you can, of course, also do the same in scene number 34. 
Now we'll show you how you can customize one of the standard scenes that have a footage placeholder and some text in there. So let's take scene number three for this example. And we can now open up scene number three. And now you see we have a text layer that's green and that says double click to edit title. So if you double click this layer, you see that now I can edit the title and you can enter your title. To change the footage or to enter some footage, you can now double click on this composition. It's called footage 03 comp. And if we double click it, you see that now we are in this composition and we have a footage three placeholder here. And if you open this up, then we are actually in this composition where you want to import your footage. You can, of course, access all these footage placeholders directly if we take a look at our footage and title placeholders folder and we open this up, you see you have all these placeholders in here and can enter them directly. So let's say I am just right here in my render scene and I say, okay, I want to use or I want to customize scene number three. So I need footage number three, go inside here, double click this composition and you are right inside our comp again and you can exchange this placeholder and that's what i want to do now so therefore i go to file and then i choose import which is now unfortunately out of the recording area import and import file and i will just choose an example file from my preview pictures here stock footage and I will just drag it on top of my placeholders and delete them for now. And now, because this is a little bit small, because it's a preview, I will just scale it up a little bit. Now let's go back to scene number three and take a look how this looks like. And you see, it doesn't look too bad. In this case, we could also maybe just change the position a bit to get a better framing. So you can play around with this. Or we can also change the frame size here. So let's say I want to use another frame here for this picture and therefore I just reset it so I will just move it up again and I will scale it so that it covers the whole area of our placeholder and now I go back one step into my footage 03 composition. I can also do this by clicking on this uh, what is called the mini flow chart and then you can go back one step to the footage 3 comp and now you see we are here in our frame comp. And what you can do now, we can exchange these frames here. So if you take a look again at the title and footage frame composition, then you see we have four different folders that are called footage frame one, two, three, and four. And in my case, you see that I have footage frame number four inside my comp here. So let's say I just want to exchange this with footage frame number one. And therefore I just select my footage frame number four layer and select my footage frame number one inside my project area, drag it down, hold down alt and release the mouse. And I do the same with my mat. So I take the mat layer, I take the mat layer from this footage frame number one and I do the same with the BG layer. So I take my background here and drag it down, hold down alt. And now if you take a look, you see that we have another framing. And if you go back to my scene now, you see that of course inside our scene the new frame is visible here. So one more time, let's say we want to change it to frame number two, select frame number one, exchange it with frame number two, select the mat, exchange it with the mat, select the background and exchange it with the background. And now we have a square frame. In some cases, if we go to full resolution here, Sometimes, like here, you see there a little gap now uh, is visible here. To correct that, you just have to select the mat and just move it slightly with the arrow keys until the gap is closed. So this can happen, but it doesn't happen always. It depends from which frames you are switching. Let's take a look. Maybe here I can also correct it a bit. Okay, now if we go back to my scene, you see I have my new resolution in here and of course in this case I would just move them over a bit so that they are in the middle of our placeholder and take a look and that's quite good okay so 
this is basically how you change the titles, how you change or how you add your footage and how you change the resolution of these frames. And this works, of course, with any of these frames and any scene exactly the same. Now, before you go to render your scene, you probably want to change the look a little bit. So if you take a look here, we have five different layers and one of them is already active and this is called warm. So if I turn this off, then you see the look changes quite a bit. And the look that you see now is more or less the natural look. So this is uh, without any color correction. And now we can just take a look at the pale option and this creates a completely different look. And you can of course always press T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity and then you can just decrease the opacity, which will decrease the effect of this color correction. So these are just adjustment layers. And if you decrease the transparency or the opacity, then the strength of the color correction will also decrease. So you can always adjust that a bit. If you take a look, warm is now set to 100. I can decrease it or increase it. Then we have the cold color correction. Again, the same, I can increase it to 100 or decrease it. And we have the retro color correction. Let's take a look at that. It looks pretty cool. I can also decrease it, increase it, slide through it, take a look at different pictures, different scenes, experiment a little bit. And last but not least, we have our black and white. So before you render out your final slideshow, you probably want to add some music and this will be the last step of this tutorial. So you see that down here there is an audio composition. You actually do not even need it. You could also drag in your audio directly into the render comp, but because I like some kind of a structure, I just put this in. So you can enter this audio composition right here. Double click, open it up import your audio, as I said, import, import file, then drag it in, make sure that it starts frame number zero. Or you can also just drag it in directly into your render composition, makes not much difference. And then you can render out your final slideshow. So I hope that you like this template, that you can create some nice slideshows with it, maybe make somebody happy with a little slideshow gift. Thanks a lot for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.